Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about a recent study that made a bit of news and uh, it was about a sugar molecule that was discovered orbiting around a newly formed star. Now this study was performed by, or it was led by, Jess Jorgensen of the University of Copenhagen and it was published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters and it was titled Detection of the Simplest Sugar Glycolaldehyde in a Solar Type Protostar with ALMA. And this is a freely published paper. Just gave you the journal title and the title of the article. Welcome to look it up yourselves. And I should mention that uh, it was found with ALMA, which is a uh, solar imaging system. It's nothing more than that, really. Uh, and what's so interesting about this study is that it found glycolaldehyde, which is a bit of a mouthful. Uh, if you're wondering, the chemical symbol for that is CH2OHCHO. So that sounds more complicated than it really is. It's actually just carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Um, obviously not just those three combined, but those three combined in a certain way. So it's carbon, two hydrogen atoms. Oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. That's basically how it's shaped. And this is obviously a pretty complex molecule. And it was found orbiting around this young protostar. And what's so interesting is that it's a solar type, which means it's very similar to our own sun. And why it's so exciting to find a, not quite a sugar molecule, but a kind of sugar molecule. I'm not very good at chemistry and it would take a while to explain, but basically it's the sort of building block on which RNA is built on, and RNA is obviously a major component to, to creating life. And this is actually isn't the first time this molecule has been discovered in space. It was discovered about 10 years ago by um, Hollis, Lavar, and Jewell. Uh, they found it in an uh, interstellar cloud, which is just this giant cloud of gas, basically, and it was also discovered near the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. But what makes this a little different and a little unique is that it might play a role in how planets are formed. Now we're not entirely sure how planets are formed right now, which is a bit strange considering we have a pretty good guess on how stars are formed, but when it comes to planets it's a bit of a mystery. But if this ingredient is present around where planets form, it would sort of point in the direction on how life begins on a planet. Now this isn't, uh, this has been reported in a lot of different ways, usually involving a terrible pun with the word sweet, sweet discovery, or sweet with an exclamation point. That's almost makes me wish there was no fascination with it, but it's still a kind of a cool study and it may point to how the origins of life began on this planet or other planets since we found it around a sun that is, or a star that is much like our sun in a region where planets would be forming. So, uh, pretty cool discovery. And um, there's not much more to it than that, though. So, it's a slow, steady progress for science, and this is just one step on the path. Thanks for watching.